What's up guys, my name is Chris and in this video I will show you guys how to add constraints to the views in your application. Constraints are really important because they make sure that we can run the application on any kind of iOS device, no matter the size. And we know that our users out there have different kind of iPhones, so we want to make sure that as many users as possible are able to run the app. So let's jump into it and learn how to implement some constraints. So first of all, I will open up Xcode and hit create new Xcode project. I will then select single view application and call this the constraints app. Hit next and create. So I will first of all go into my assets folder here and add this image in here because I'm going to be making use of this image. And then I will go into my main storyboard and add an image view. And then below this image view, I will add a button. Just like that. I will then select the UI image view and find the image I just imported called image. And we have this beautiful view right here. So the first thing we can look at when it comes to constraints is down here in the right corner, the triangle here. So we have two sections here. The first one is for selected views in the view controller and the second one is for all views in the view controller. So if we press add missing constraints for all views in the view controller, Xcode will provide us with all the necessary constraints for this application um, and this view controller. So as we can see here, this is really nice, but we have to look through all these uh, constraints here and make sure this is what we want because we don't really know what constraints Xcode will be adding when we make use of this function. So that's the bad bad thing about this, but other than that, this is really nice and super fast to make use of. Uh, if you go down here, we are also able to uh, press clear constraints, which will clear the constraints, obviously. And this is really nice when we uh, wanna, if we make some mistake and we wanna just start from scratch, we can just press clear uh, clear constraints. So if I add the missing constraints again and I move the button, I will get some orange um, marks here and this is some errors that are telling me that I just moved the button away from the defined constraints and that's not good. So we can go ahead down here to the triangle and press update constraints constants, which will update the constraints uh, based on where I press the button or where I put the button. And we are also able to press reset to suggested constraints, which will um, make use of the suggested constraints from Xcode. So that is basically how we can make use of auto layout to make Xcode create the constraints for us. But the best way of doing this is of course always to do it yourself. So I will do that now. If I select the image, I can go down to the square here and here I have the option to add uh, missing constraints manually. So the first area here, we are defining how far from the edges the image will be. So I will say zero to the top, 16 to the left and 16 to the right. And I'm not going to define the button. But I can also uh, change the width and height of the image and make them static by selecting them here. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to select aspect radio, which will scale the picture based on what device you're using and then press add for constraints. I can do the same for the button. So I will go down here and say 15 to the top, 16 to the left, 16 to the right. And when it says 50 to the top, it it doesn't mean 15 to the top of the view controller, but 15 to the top of the view that's above the view you are adding constraints to, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I'm gonna say 50 here and then select aspect radio and add for constraints. And as you see, if I uh, change the device down here, we can see that this is fully this is fully scalable and looks really nice. And this is exactly what we want, and that's the purpose of constraints. And that's just great. And if I were to compile and run this, this will also look fine. But I'm not going to do that. There are also other ways of adding constraints. For example, if I select the button and then Control click and drag from the button to the image we get a lot of different possibilities here. For example, we can uh, put the 
width equal um, to the picture's width and the height as well and we can add aspect radio and so on so if I for example say equal heights we can see that the image and the bottom will get equal heights and that will of course uh, mess up the already existing constraints so we're not gonna do that but you understand the point uh, the point of it and how it works one thing that's also worth mentioning is how we can embed views in stack views so if I for example add two text fields in here and then select these two text fields uh, I can do go down here and press embed in stack which will create a stack view for both text fields at the same time so I can now uh, select this stack view and add constraints to only the stack view which will affect both text fields at the same time so if I for example say 16 to the left and right and 32 to the top and then add these three constraints it will stretch out the text fields as well and if I then select the stack view we also have opportunities to select and uh, change things here on the right, right side so I can make some spacing between these two text fields for example uh, which looks great and I, I make use of stack views when I create for example lock in screens uh, then I have a password label and a username label and then two text fields which I will then um, put into stack view and then only I only have to make uh, constraints for the stack view so this is really nice to know so I will definitely recommend you guys playing a little bit around with the stack view one last thing that's worth mentioning is the update frame button down here. So if I take the stack view and move it away from its place, uh, Xcode will complain because the constraints does not match its current location. So if I want to get things back on track, I can press this update frames button will, which will take the stack view back to where it belongs. I make use of this often because when I mess things up, this button always helps me out. That's it for this video guys, thank you so much for watching and the best advice I can give you guys is to just play a little bit around with constraints because they are a little tricky to begin with but as soon as you get the feel for them they will be really easy to implement and they are super important for your app's functionality. So thank you so much for watching, if you have any questions leave a comment below and if you want to see more videos in the future hit the subscribe button, otherwise take care and I will see you guys.